Hello everyone, you're watching another episode of Military TV. Today, the world's militaries of both state and non-state actors are engaged in a technological arms race. As is clearly known, Israel's technological dominance is indisputable. It happens when a country is under threat, such as the following incidents. Hezbollah, based in Lebanon, fired rockets into northern Israeli population centers in the 1990s, posing a security challenge for the Israeli Defense Forces. During the 2006 Second Lebanon War, approximately 4,000 Hezbollah-fired rockets landed in northern Israel, including on Haifa, the country's third largest city. The rocket barrage killed 44 Israeli civilians and caused some 250,000 Israeli citizens to be evacuated and relocated to other parts of Israel, while an estimated 1 million Israelis were confirmed in or near bomb shelters during the conflict. To the south, more than 8,000 projectiles were fired indiscriminately into Israeli population centers from Gaza between 2000 and 2008 principally by Hamas. Almost all of the rockets fired were Qassams launched by 122mm grad launchers smuggled into the Gaza Strip, giving longer range than other launch methods. Nearly a million Israelis living in the south were within rocket range, posing a serious security threat to the country and its citizens. In February 2007, Defense Minister Amir Peretz selected Iron Dome as Israel's defense against this short-range rocket threat. That's why any thoughts of an invulnerable missile shield evaporated when those incidents happened. So let's know more about Iron Dome. We start with the question of what is the Iron Dome defense system and how effective is it? The Iron Dome is a mobile defense system developed by Rafal Advanced Defense Systems and Israel Aerospace Industries developed, produced, and fielded in 2011 to intercept and destroy short-range rockets, artillery shells, and mortars fired from distances of up to 45 miles to protect civilian areas in the path of such projectiles. The system uses a unique interceptor with a special warhead that detonates any target in the air within seconds. The Iron Dome is also a cost-effective system that can handle multiple threats simultaneously and efficiently. The Iron Dome system has been selected by the Israeli Defense Ministry as the best system offering the most comprehensive defense solution against a wide range of threats in a relatively short development cycle and at a low cost. Israeli defense contractor Rafal Advanced Defense Systems Limited, the company developing the Iron Dome, lists the defense system as an affordable solution. However, the surface-to-air missile battery comes with a steep price tag. Each battery of the Iron Dome costs about $50 million, while each individual missile cost is $40,000. Iron Dome has different variants, such as the I-Dome that's fully mobile and fits on a single truck, and the C-Dome which is the naval version of the system. The US version, called Sky Hunter, is manufactured by Rafal and Raytheon. For its design, Iron Dome is composed of three fundamental elements. Detection and tracking radar, battle management and weapon control system, and missile firing unit with 20 ready to fire from container launchers, three launchers for one single battery. The radar system ELM-2084 has been developed by an Israeli defense company, ELTA. The control system has been built by an Israeli software company, Impressed Systems, engaged by Rafal. The missile launched by the firing unit of Iron Dome includes Tamir interceptor missiles. It has several steering fins for high maneuverability and is equipped with electro-optic sensors. In addition, the Tamir Interceptor was designed for high efficiency and low cost. The missile is 3 meters long, weighs 90 kilograms with a 160 millimeter diameter, and it can reach 5,000 to 70,000 meter range. Now let's see how it works. It is a three-piece system of interceptor batteries that shoot rockets out of the sky. A radar tracks the rocket as it is fired across the border into Israel, and then advanced software predicts the rocket's trajectory. The information it provides is used to guide Tamir interceptor missiles, which are fired from the ground to blow the rocket into harmless pieces in the sky. 
The Iron Dome functions by detecting, analyzing, and intercepting varieties of targets such as mortars, rockets, and artillery. It also has all-weather capabilities and is able to function night or day and in all conditions, including fog, rain, dust storms, and low clouds. It is able to launch a variety of interceptor missiles. Today, Israel is protected by 10 Iron Dome batteries, functioning to protect the country's infrastructure and citizens. Each battery is able to defend up to 60 square miles. They are strategically placed around Israel's cities in order to intercept projectiles headed towards these populated areas. Implementing artificial intelligence technology, the dome system is able to discriminate whether the incoming threats will land in a populated or an uninhabited area, ignoring them in the latter case, effectively reducing the cost of operation and keeping unnecessary defense launches to a minimum. However, if the dome determines that the rocket is projected to land in an inhabited area, the interceptor is fired towards the rocket. A radar steers the missile until the target is acquired with an infrared sensor. The interceptor must be quickly maneuverable because it must intercept rudimentary rockets that are little more than a pipe with fins welded onto it, which makes them liable to follow unpredictable courses. It can be assumed that the launchers of the rockets know as little as the Israelis as to where the rockets would end up landing. For your information, Iron Dome has received U.S. funding that tops about $500 million annually for joint air defense projects with Israel. In August 2020, Rafal and American firm Raytheon Technologies agreed to a joint venture to build Iron Dome in the United States. The facility builds the system and its Tamir Interceptor, which is called Sky Hunter in the U.S. At the time, the system was said to be capable of intercepting cruise missiles, unmanned aircraft, rockets, artillery, and mortars. In the last part, we will talk about its effectiveness. Israel Defense Force claims an 85% to 90% success rate for the Iron Dome in intercepting incoming projectiles. Operational in March 2011, to date the Iron Dome has successfully destroyed approximately 1,500 rockets. The destruction of these incoming rockets has saved Israeli lives by offering physical protection and shielding property and other assets. In addition, for the Israelis it serves as a psychological safeguard and comfort for the Israeli people. Regarding the dome as an asset for Israel's national security strategy, while standing as an undeniable asset, has had mixed results regarding its four major pillars of deterrence, early, active defense, and decisive victory, as well as some unintended challenges. For instance, regarding the perspective of its psychological protection for the Israeli people, it is thought to also affect the Israeli public in a negative manner. Regardless of the fact that it currently offers effective protection to the existing threats, it could in fact help cause a long-term security issue for Israel. In addition, while the dome suffices for now, it cannot be expected to continue this way forever. Despite the system's effectiveness, it is just a matter of time before the militants develop tactics or acquire the technology to overcome it. The time needed in order to accomplish this can be predicted to be significantly reduced, taking into account the strong support for the militants' allies and the considerable funding they receive. We conclude that Israel's Iron Dome is more than a missile defense system. It's practically an icon, a symbol of how technological creativity can enable one rocket to knock another rocket out of the sky. Thanks for watching and don't forget to click other awesome videos.